hey welcome to my youtube channel and in this video we will build something really interesting which is subgraph so subgraph is basically a data management on chain service which allows to uh, create data manage data and handle data without any external data management service so in the subgraph let's take an example we have a transaction called transfer to the blockchain and we emitted the event called transfer so it helps us to manage to write logic on the events and manage data for the our uh, front-end application so in this example i have taken a starter kit for the subgraph uh, development so you just need to go to the subgraph starter kit and you have to just clone it to start working on it so once you clone this uh, repository you can see this kind of file structure here so I have created like boilerplate to start uh, development of the subgraph. You can see some files here, which is subgraph.yml. Second is schema graph QL and into the source, you can see token mapping. So you just need to focus over these three files only initially. Once you have grasp of these files, you can actually scale it up. So I have taken an example for the uh, to create this video so that you can understand how subgraph is actually works so i have taken some uh, example of one rare erc20 token you can directly uh, so in this example i have taken we are basically uh, logging the transfer events of the one rare token like how many users are transferring and what are their current balances so what i am doing is uh, just let's go to the uh, file structure and understand so this is subgraph.yml file which basically does the configuration for the subgraph so you can see here uh, the name of the uh, contract the network at which at which you wanted to log the events address of the uh, contract and the abi file of the uh, contract so you can see I have just uh, copied the address from here like this and pasted here and this is the ABI file and the you can see uh, this is the ABI information like name of the ABI file and the location of the file you directly go to the ABI section and you can paste the ABI here how to find the ABI just go to here you will see the information of the one rare token such as transfers holders contract so you have to select the contract and go to the code section and you can see the abi of the contract here you just need to copy paste here so your abi file is done so you have to put the address you have to put the abi location and these two files one is entities and second is event handlers so how does it work you have to define your schema which is as user balances i have written so you can go here into the schema.graphql you can find the definition of the user balance uh, entity and second is event handler so which event you wanted to log and how you wanted to handle you have to give the information of that function so in this event handler you could see transfer event which is taking from address to address and amount of the transfer and using which function you wanted to handle it which is handle transfer and where it is defined into this file which is source token mapping we have to go to the source and token mapping and here you could see the function handle transfer and which is logging the event transfer so first uh, let's understand the logic we are first uh, updating the information for the from user so we can see user balances schema we are loading it and the unique id is address of the user let's understand through schema.graphql here we have id which is unique address of the user balance of the user and transfer count so how many transfer he is doing we are logging it so let's go to the function so if from user data is not available means he is a new user so we have to log it in such a way we have to create the first uh, user and then we have to remove the balance because he is transferring it 
so how to uh, fetch the value we can see event.params.value and we have to initialize as a transfer account one and if from user data already available we have to go into the else condition and we have to remove again the balances and increase the count plus one and we have to save this data same for the two user if user not found we have to create that user we have to initialize the balance we have to initialize the transfer count and same if user exists we have to increase the balance and transfer count and we have to save it so this is the basic logic we have to understand subgraph.yml basically gives us the configuration of the events handling and schema allows us to create data structure in which we have to save our data and token mapping or basically saying mapping allows us to handle those logics into a file so here everything is sorted we just need to deploy our subgraph so that we can access live so what we have to do is if you are first time uh, subgraph user you have to click over add subgraph once you click over here you will get a form so once you fill up this form you will get some necessary details about the subgraph which you have to update like i have uh, details of that here is as uh, this i am a uh, subgraph starter erc20 you have to just update it into package.json file here i have already configured everything like scripts here code gen to basically code generation stage second building stage and third is deploy stage so i am directly going to write it down as yarn code gen to generate initial code and second yarn build to create build of this lattice subgraph and then yarn deploy so once you deploy this whole subgraph will be available to the subgraph uh, dashboard yeah so subgraph is deployed we can chat directly click over this link and and yes we can actually query our uh, subgraph like i have written the query we can if i click over this play button this query will play out and we can see this is the address having this much balances which is in way and transfer count is two same for this address this address and this address so this is the whole example from uh, cloning the subgraph starter kit to writing your own logic understanding it and deploying to the subgraph if you have any question you can write it down into the comment section i will reply over there and you can like the video if you really uh, love my content and subscribe also for further videos thank you